wow. with your wife, that kind of thing, or with your kids, or smelling a steak, like maybe that's your favorite food or whatever. Interesting. Or eating something chocolate. That all releases dopamine. Wow. And so what happens, and I'm, I am quickly getting to the no, question ahead, you asked ahead. me, um, what happens with drug, illicit drugs, alcohol, and all other addictions, and I want to emphasize that, all other addictions, whether it's gambling, pornography, compulsive shopping, which, by the way, affects wow. both genders equally. Really? I think that's an interesting fact. Any of the addictions... Uh, in any of those areas, dopamine surges are, we might say, dumped into the brain. Hmm. And they go to all parts of the brain and the body, in fact. The effects of those drugs go throughout the body. So the liver, the heart, hmm. everything's affected, not just the brain. But wow. those dopamine surges give that feeling of euphoria and that teaches the brain, hey, this feels good, do that again. So if we do say right words, we're positive, very loving, caring, mm -hmm. naturally exactly. we're going to feel good. Natural dopamine. But then if we get mm -hmm. negative, mean, mm -hmm. angry, fussing, right. hateful, right. It, we have a negative effect. So, so exactly. the drugs, these type of drugs that we're going to talk about mm -hmm. actually affect that one chemical that is the feel-good chemical. Absolutely. Okay. Other chemicals too, but especially, especially that dopamine. One. Right. And the thing is that I think is important to point out too is that the natural level of dopamine that we're supposed to have that God designed ends up bottoming out because of all those dopamine surges that have been dumped into the brain through the various drugs and alcohol and other oh. addictions. And so our natural dopamine starts to lower because the brain says, I've got too much. I've got to stop wow. producing. And that's why when they come off the high, they're totally bottomed out. Exactly. And depressed wow. and anxious and yeah, yeah, irritable. Yeah. Right. So now they got to get the, no natural they want the feeling little, again. So yeah. instead of letting the natural yeah. work its way back up and heal itself by coming mm -hmm. off the drug. Which happens over that time. Explain right. some things. Which happens it really over does. Time. Now, I want to, I'd right. like to show our audience Let's some images here. Uh, this is an image of a neuron firing. And what happens in the brain is, you know, naturally, you, uh, neurons fire. That's an excitability type of response. It's like electricity, it isn't is, it? It is electricity. Oh, wow. It's so amazing. It's the same kind of electricity that you see with lightning. In fact, really? on the image, you might see that it looks like a lightning flash in a way. It's the same, th same um, energy and electricity that you get with lightning or a light bulb, that kind of thing. And so those neurons light up and they fire. And when there's excessive dopamine, they light up like a Christmas tree. Mm. And Perry, I want to say this to the audience because I think this is hugely important. Yes. The same thing happens when someone looks at pornography. Research has shown they have looked at the brain mm. when someone looks at pornography, which by the way is increasing greatly among women now. And really? not just men, yes, well, quite Well, that's, that's, that's not even in the natural thing. Th 20 years ago, that was right. unheard of because right. men are sight oriented. Can mm -hmm. I ask you a question? Sure. Just from your studies. Why do you think that is? Is it back to the dopamine thing where there's, they're wanting that? It is, it is basically dopamine, the same type of thing? Right, but I think for a lot of reasons, of course, we know that with the Internet and so right. forth, this is so much more easily accessible. accessible. Right. But also uh, the, the rate of abuse has increased and trauma has increased so much around the mm. world and in our own culture in the United States. And many people end up turning to those kind of things, you know, to ease their pain or to dissociate wow. and just, you know, get some pain relief, some stress mm. relief. And at first, you know, uh, getting involved in addiction is a choice. Right. But after that, it's not a choice anymore because all of this brain change is going on mm. and addictions change not only the chemicals in the brain, but the structure of the brain. It shrivels the brain. What? And it's just dangerous really? all the way around. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, brain scans show that. So this was an image that you just saw of uh, the neurons firing. Right. And then I also would like to show our audience um, what happens in the brain when this dopamine is released. They're going to see an image of how that goes to something called the nucleus accumbens, right in the center of the brain, and then that's distributed throughout the brain. And then we're going to show some PET scans uh, in a moment. And PET scans and SPECT scans. Now these are actual ones, <coughs> though, of a mm -hmm. brain. Okay. Yes, exactly. They show, like CAT scans and MRIs will show structure of the brain, but PET scans and SPECT scans show activity and blood flow in the brain. So mm. that's what we're going to look at next. Um, wow. Coming up now is a, is a PET scan, several PET scans that will show 
a normal PET scan, what it looks like, and the normal activity in the brain. And those blue okay. and purple areas right. show um, lower activity, and the yellow areas are going to show high activity in the brain okay. or normal functioning, good okay. processing, good thinking, good reasoning, that kind of thing, right. good judgment. And then you're going to see the next image is going to be a cocaine user about 10 days after stopping. Really? After ceasing. Okay. And the next one coming up is the cocaine user after 100 days of abstinence. And what's important about that is when huh. you scan a brain of an, of an addict, right, a right. dependent person, a drug dependent person or alcohol dependent person, you're going to see all kinds of, I'm going to just use the term dysfunction in the brain because of what's happened through the use of drugs and alcohol. Wow. But about 30 days later, when you take the scan, you're not going to see much difference. But 90 days later, or 100 days, as they have seen on the scan there, 100 days later, you start to see some real change. And guess what? A year out, huge changes in the brain. And that's why recovery programs that, like Penile that you and I are familiar right. with, Epi yeah. that one year program is so important because that gives the brain the opportunity to heal okay, this and is, reverse yeah, itself. This is significant. Now, I want to mm -hmm. talk about that, those brain scans mm -hmm. in just a moment again. But a lot of people who have an addiction, they'll say, I don't want to go away six months. For more information about the ministry of Perry Stone, we invite you to visit our website at perrystone.org, where you can receive other resource materials and products, learn about partnership, upcoming events and conferences, and much, much more.